G'day, fellas, and welcome to some Golden League games. Oh, oh, you know what? I'll give you some custard as well. Welcome to a custard game. How you guys doing? Welcome back. We have got a Holy Roman Empire game today because Marine Lord, who spawns on the west-hand side, is playing as the HRE. And what a we... What is this tree line? Oh, my lord. Take a look at this spawn. Take a look at my tree line. That is what she said. Look at that. Look at that tree line. That is absolutely wonkers. Wonkers, bonkers, weird and bonkers. Weird and bonkers makes wonkers. Spawning in over on the east side of the map, we've got Vortex, who's playing as the Delhi Sultanate. A civilization that is quite a strong civ and, and very good in this matchup. Going to be going up against some, some HRE. So let's talk a little bit about this game, about where we expect it to go. So double scout opening here uh, for Vortex. Over on the other side, Marine Lord going to be doing the same thing. So, typically in this matchup, you would expect the Holy Roman Empire player to look to try and get to Castle as quickly as possible. And we have already got some problems. Things not lock and go. I know there's a lot of Giga Chads right now that are watching this on YouTube that are like, hold on a minute, we ch we're cheering for the Holy Roman Empire. We're not cheering for cheering for the Delhi player. Marine Lord seems to have fallen asleep at the keyboard there. Whoosh. That, that is a feels bad, man. You can see he's gone out with the sheep, been a little bit greedy. So what happened there? What happened there was that Marine Lord sent away his initial scout, forgot to send back those two sheep. You know how you get the one sheep under the TC, then you get like one sheep here and one sheep here? He forgot to send those two back to the town center. They went out with his little scout. It does look like you are able to actually get through there. Uh, for anybody wondering, yes, you can get through there. It's just a little bit strange, that's all. Over on the other side, though, let's check in with Vortex. We'll see how he's doing. It's just going to be the standard Lumber Camp Mill Mosque opening from him. So no no crazy shenanigans just yet. Mining Camp probably going to be coming down on that next villager. Indeed, it is. Uh, but uh, yeah, so what what's going to happen this matchup? Well, we can expect that the Delhi player is going to be looking to take the Sacred Sites at the early stage of the game. Potentially even do a bit of a Fast Castle follow-up. But it's going to come down to how much food they can actually invest in that military. Because realistically, they've got a fair bit of food that's out here on the map, obviously. Nice little double bear, nice little patch up there. Patch down here as well. Patch up here, patch down there. Uh, so lots of, uh, of nice little things, but they're going to be wanting to put out that aggression. And so in this matchup, what's the best unit to be going? Normally, you'd probably want to start with Horsemen, uh, just because the... Holy Roman Empire player, in the event they do go to Men at Arms, it's going to be a bit, a little bit more difficult. They can just quite literally make mass Men at Arms, and there's not much that Delhi can do with it. Uh, so going for those early horsemen does help, but we can already see that. I'm not sure if you guys saw that was a bug. Uh, there, the villager was trying to drop off the golden. Uh, not until she is manually retasked will it enable, uh, or will it allow her to do that. So let's let's watch and see. The villager just going to be coming back in this instance. Uh, but yeah, my expect my expectation in this game would be that we we could see a double town center come out for Marine Lord. This is something that we have been seeing players do. Uh, obviously, in this matchup, though, it, you kind of want to rush up to that castle age, but I suspect he's not going to be able to do it. I reckon there's going to be too much pressure for him. We'll take a look and see, though. Uh, Arkham Chapel going to be coming down. It gets the gold, at least a few villages. It gets the town center, obviously gets the lumber camp, and does get the stone as well. So he's getting quite a few of those resources here. Obviously, deer nowhere to be seen. They're up over on this side, so unlikely that he's going to be able to push them all the way in, though... I tell you what, it's not terrible. It's not it, It's not impossible. It is not impossible for him to do that. But now we see Vortex continuing to do some damage. But Marine Lord manages to take out the first scout. Second scout going to have to run away, heading back towards the base. With the tail between its legs. Dome of the Faith coming up for him. Wheelbarrow almost through. Get your wheelbarrows, uh, your wheelbarrow alarms out. Uh, but double scout over for Marine Lord. Uh, and so I, I guess the question for me is, which way does he look to play it? Because... Option number one that he's going to have is that he goes into professional scouts and looks to try and take that. He's open with double scouts, so that's going to lend to going into double... It's going to lend to going into professional scouts very, very well here. Uh, denying as much food away from the Delhi player is always going to be really important, just because a lot of the units that they're going to want to make, typically those horsemen, those spearmen, very food heavy. They need to also get up to the castle age, so they need that 1,200 food. And they don't really have many other food bonuses. Obviously, they've got the extra food that's in the berry bushes. But other than that, a pretty food-heavy civilization compared to a lot of the other civs. Over on the other side, though, Marine Lord about to go up to that next stage. We can see the Arkham Chapel coming through. And the macro here looking like it might be a professional scout. I suspect it probably is going to. The macro is very, very on point here for professional scouts. You can see he's barely a few resources above it. And I suspect he's going to click it any second. Nope. 
He's, he's not doing professional scouts. Okay. <laughs> that was a bit of a letdown. I'm like, oh, okay then. I guess he's not. You can actually hear the two chat the, the two players chatting to each other in the game. I've got no idea what they're saying. Uh, but oh, there it is. <laughs> There's the professional scouts. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Oh, my lord. <laughs> gold miners now under attack once again. It is always going to be those gold miners. Those pesky damn gold miners out a little bit too far away from that town center. Dome of the Faith is now through for Vortex. Going to be a double blacksmith opening. He'll be working towards that stable afterwards most likely then get that barracks down but uh it, it, he can always mix things up against delhi it, it's something that you've got to be very careful with because obviously the holy roman empire they've got a lot of potential uh when it comes to their castle age play but the delhi by the same token if they really start to mass up those those units it can be difficult dealing with them We'll check in over on Marine Lord and see what he's up to. It just looks like it's going to be a standard fast castle play coming out for him. No, no other weird or wacky shenanigans at this point. Stable going to be coming down. Actually going to be investing in a couple more scouts here. Obviously going forward, professional scouts. It makes sense for him to do that. We're already at the six minute mark and he's yet to pick up that... that, uh, that upgrade but it is coming through slowly but steadily no second towns and a full marine lord either uh, but everything just seems fine and dandy for him vortex going to going to be looking through uh, and uh, indeed we do see that stable being dropped down so it does i don't necessarily feel like these are late uh, it, it's just that obviously he's investing quite heavily in interesting a uh, little bit of a mistake coming through from Vortex. All four of his technologies in the same blacksmith. Ideally, he wants to split them two and two. You can see how much that one's already got off at a minute 51. There we go. I think he's just realized now, and now he's going to be able to put that in queue. So it's been about a minute that it's been sitting there idle. Feels bad, man. It's going to be an archery range for him, so not going to be looking to open with the spearman just yet. And now he spots those scouts pulling back the deer carcass as he'll make sure that he's very, very careful about... Uh, about looking to try and dish out that damage but at the same time he's got enough health on his scout where he could just look to fight off his enemy here or ideally just bring it underneath the town center why not but marine lord now on his way up to castle age and beautiful timing that he's got here look at this we're at seven minutes 15 and he's about to click up he is he's probably about 15 seconds away from clicking up that is some really impressive stuff and you can see vortex coming in here trying to be a little bit annoying but isn't this just absolutely impressive when you think about it when you think about the fact that this holy roman empire player is quite literally just going a professional scouts fast castle and he's clicking up at about 735 look at that 735 click up that is an absolute insane timing on that and of course it's going to be the ragnitz cathedral no real surprises there we'll check in over on his opponent and see where vortex is up to vortex not even really thinking about going for any sort of castle age play uh or, or yeah no no real castle age play he's just got the two villages on gold at this point in time obviously has scholars out on the sacred sites already uh standing there ready to go second one moving out as well sanctity about to come through there it is one second boom shakalaka laka there it goes and now continuing to push through over towards that hunt keep in mind all the resources are underneath that town center and i mean obviously on this map this map being french pass it's the new it's the updated french pass players have looked to be a little bit defensive here we can see that vortex has actually got walls up but he doesn't know he doesn't know he thinks this wood line goes all the way through and now scouts are going to be catching down underneath the base of marine lord the scouts do catch him unaware and now the timing push uh, will, unfortunately for, for Vortex, is, is going to be pretty pretty meaningless. Uh, just simply because he hasn't hacked, he hasn't managed to wall this in. And this is the consequence of just, I guess, in, I, I would probably say like unpredictable map spawns would be this. Because I, I pointed out at the very beginning, this was a very weird tree spawn. The way that it, it, it's beautiful, it's defensive, it's exactly how you want it. And it leaves a little opening here. Now, obviously, that opening can be chopped through by the enemy. And by the same token, it can be walled in and gated uh, by yourself. But now we see Marine Lord coming through. We've got the double stables coming out. Knights looking for production over towards this market that he's got coming down. Horseman going to be moving in. Doesn't look like there's any textiles through for our Holy Roman Empire player just yet. But he's going to be able to hold this position. We'll check in over on the other side. as a bit of a raid coming through. It's not a raid, my friend. No, no, no. This is going to be some professional scouts doing what they do best is shift click them onto all of the deer so he's going to be able to pick them up and steal them away from the delhi player you can see him right there all four of them going to be cleaned up and now horseman in the middle going to be fighting up against its brother its brethren sacred site was neutralized and of course the knights are now out and this is where it starts to get really hard for vortex because vortex had to make a decision did he go for a heavy feudal play you know maybe even only one blacksmith no he went for two blacksmiths it means he's a little bit slower to get the units out a little bit slower to get moving and up towards the north side you can see that's where he's rallying troops but this is the consequence of this map because this map obviously french pass it's a little bit more of a roundabout way to 
a fight against your enemy. And we can see Vortex is going to be trying his best to, to fight up against these villagers, but a knight going to be coming out at the same time, a raid over towards the berry patch. No no outpost here, going to be able to defend against that. Villagers, that could be very, very bad. Single knight going to be looking to try and take these down. Villagers going to be jumping in underneath the town center, and you can see Marine Lord looking like he's in a supreme position as those relics get picked up in the middle. Knight continuing to work its magic. It could be the raid that kills him right now. The Holy Roman Empire is looking like a Giga Chad civilization, and they are starting and increasing in their power. Their timings here are absolutely beautiful. A typical Delhi timing here would absolutely rock a Holy Roman Empire as well, but it, no it is not the case today. The HRE is out, and they are in force. The push is completely cleaned up. The villagers are still being slaughtered on the berries at this point in time, and it is looking incredibly good. Unfortunately, it looks like a, a Holy Roman Empire Prella did get taken out up towards the north side. But Marine Lord, he is stabilizing. He's sitting at the moment on 25 villagers, and his opponent is sitting on absolutely zero because he's tapped out. Fellas, Golden League, it is happening this weekend, next weekend, 15 GMT. I will catch you there. I will see you fellas there. Holy Roman Empire is looking amazing right now. What do you think? Was the buff too much? I feel like it might have been. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.